What, are, what is it gonna be? Come on. I want you to destroy the Power Rangers. Can you do? That's terrible looking. What's going on guys? Welcome aboard Normandy. Welcome back for some more Mighty Morphin Mondays here on the channel. If you're excited for this one, do me a favor. Hit that like button down there. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this episode and more. And please consider subscribing. Also, check out in the description. There's a link over to my Patreon. You can get the full uncut reaction here. Entire episode up over there. And not just the five or six minutes that you see here on YouTube. But guys, we are back finally with more Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. We are on to episode 25. It is called Life's a Masquerade. I don't remember this. The title is not like uh, setting off any alarm bells of like, hey, this is an episode I remember. No, this is just completely blind on my part. I'm wondering if once I get into it, I might remember a little bit more. But yeah, this might be something I haven't seen since I was a kid. So well, let's see what I think of it. Let's get right into it, guys. I just realized we see putties a lot more in this series than we do in Sentai. Costume party, huh? You're gonna stape yourself in the head. Oh, physics, how do they work? Alright, well they got their comeuppance for the episode. What's up next? What kind of monster? What, what is it gonna be? Come on. I want you to destroy the Power Rangers. Can you do That's terrible looking. And you're gonna find me one. What the hell are you doing? That, that's actually not bad. They kind of got it down. How did Vulcan Skull's Elvis costumes end up looking better than the monster looks in this? Oh, Alpha just wanders in. Yep, yeah, there he is. Wow, what a great costume. That's how women yeah, react cool, to me man. when I walk in a room. Man, it's, just... <laughs> it's also dumb. Okay. Dude, he's trying to hurt you. Billy's just gonna follow him. Rawr. Rawr. Oh, that looked different. Okay, so is there an American version of the Japanese monster? And the Americans just, like, really screwed it up? It still doesn't look good. It's time for molecular transmutation. <laughs> Alright, I like that. Come on, Billy, you can take him. Form of buddy patroller that's nearly indestructible. What the hell's going on with Alpha? Yeah, it's just a really bad looking monster in either version. Same mistake she always makes. He's winning. You make them get the Megazord out. God damn it, Rita. Ooh. Beat the shit out of the Megazord. Never mind. Oh, there we go. Over now. Really? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, they kind of need your help, dude. I take back what I said about Rita making this monster big. He's still winning despite that. I hit a motherfucker with another motherfucker. Let's turn this off. Turn this on. I do like this finisher. Oh, brutal. <laughs> so I guess the Mega Dragon Zord is just more powerful than the regular Mega Zord. Uh, is that canon? Time to announce the winner of the costume oh. contest. It's gonna be Alpha. Whoever you are. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So, what's weird about that episode, for such a shittily designed monster, because it was, both the, the American version looked even worse than the Japanese one, but the, it, it was just not a good design of a monster, but the episode itself and the action in it was pretty damn solid. That was actually pretty good. I enjoyed that episode a lot more than I thought I would when I first saw the monster. So, yeah, I... Yeah, that, that was good. That was good. What do we got next week? Next week is episode 26, Gung Ho. Um, I, again, have no idea what that's about. 
So, but yeah, guys, let me know what you thought about that episode. Did you enjoy it as much as I did? Other than that, though, guys, I hope everyone out there has a good one, and I will see you next time. Peace.